Hello everyone and welcome back to Bible Q&A. You've heard of the guy St. Paul, right? He was that apostle who successfully preached the gospel to many different places all over Europe from Macedonia to Greece to Rome and other places. So he essentially went all over the map. And we find in the scriptures that the Holy Spirit played a role in his ministry. And the question we're going to be looking at today is, how exactly did the Holy Spirit guide Paul and his companions in Acts chapter 16 from verses 6 to 10? That was one of the places where the Holy Spirit was like, don't go here, don't go there. It's like the Holy Spirit was guiding them. Now, we need to know, of course, that the Holy Spirit is like God's Spirit, that the spirits used to connect with human beings. When, for example, Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, verse 26, that he would pray that the, you know, he would go to his father and ask that he send the comforter, that is the Holy Spirit. The reason why he was asking his heavenly father to do that was because it was through that that the apostles could communicate and preach the gospel, as John the apostle had spoken about in 1 John chapter 2, Verse 27, where he said, But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Now, the Holy Spirit is one of those things that God Almighty can use to communicate with us. And in that particular episode, it must have been through the minds. That is, you suddenly get an idea in your head, and it makes you do a certain thing. It gives you a strong urge to not do or to do a certain thing. For example, if you look at the ministry of St. Paul, sometimes God would be like, no, you do not go to that place, and then the Holy Spirit would forbid him. He would just see a reason in not going. His mind would tell him otherwise. That is the Holy Spirit. Though we should also understand as Christians that Satan and the devil also has the evil spirit. You've probably spoken about that from time to time. It's what human beings generally throw around when you do something that's wrong. Like, oh, you must have an evil spirit or something like that. But it's what Satan the devil sends to certain people so that they can oppose God's will. It's like the Holy Spirit, except it works against God's purpose. Consider Luke chapter 22 and verses 2 and 3, where Satan the devil famously entered Judas Iscariot. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, that is Jesus, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. So Satan the devil can easily enter into somebody, and then all of a sudden, that person will start thinking in a certain way that will oppose God's will. Is that how that was what motivated Judas to go betray the Son of God himself, Jesus Christ. So we need to understand that the Holy Spirit is something that allows God Almighty, Jesus Christ, and the other angels in heaven to communicate with human beings, send us messages through the mind. It could even be through physical talking. But in that particular case of Acts chapter 16 from verses 6 to 10, where the apostles were preaching and then the God wanted them to go in a certain way and split up and all that, the Holy Spirit most likely talked to them through the mind, gave them that urge, that idea of now splitting up. And that, of course, was what ended up happening. So I hope that if any of you guys were wondering about how the Holy Spirit works, you guys will now be able to understand how it speaks through the mind and all that. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss when we make our next video. Have a great day and God bless you.